After well over three months of constant Israeli bombardment in Gaza, all eyes are on a courthouse more than 3,000 kilometres away in the Netherlands. South Africa wants the UN's top legal body, the International Court of Justice, to order an immediate ceasefire as part of its interim judgment expected in a matter of hours in a case being brought under the Genocide Convention. If it goes against Israel, there's little doubt the country's leaders would ignore it and that they would refuse to comply with the court's orders. But it would be a huge blow, both politically and diplomatically, not just to Israel, but also to its main backer, the Biden administration. The US president is already facing mounting political pressure at home. In the UN Security Council on three occasions, the US has used its veto to block an immediate ceasefire. But would Biden be prepared to veto again, this time in defiance of the world's top court? Well, the dilemma is that it puts him in a position of contradiction because through other uh, conflicts, including Ukraine most recently, we've seen these calls for the maintenance of the rules-based international order. The highest level of maintaining that order is uh, the, the directives of the court. So if America uh, finds itself in a position of contradiction between what they've said on other conflicts and what they're saying on Israel, then this is a huge dilemma for the administration. Of course, if the ruling doesn't go South Africa's way, it's a very different story. Expect the Israeli Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, and his cabinet to say their military campaign has been vindicated and that there are no war crimes. Obviously, that's almost certainly not the case, but it would mean that this court has decided that it can't take action under the very high threshold demanded by the Genocide Convention. Other courts, including the International Criminal Court, also based here in this city, could also bring charges related both to war crimes and crimes against humanity. James Bay's Al Jazeera, The Hague. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.